I greet you in the name of Jesus Christ and we have had a wonderful month talking about empowered voice. And today I want to command a blessing upon your lives. The Bible says in Deuteronomy 28 verse 1, Now it shall come to pass, if you diligently obey the voice of the Lord your God, to observe carefully all his commands which I command you today, that the Lord your God will set you high above all the nations of the earth. The Lord has declared that he's going to set you high above all the nations of the earth. And maybe during this month, you may have gone through many challenges and wondered whether God really cares about you. And I want to let you know that God is saying that if you hear his voice and obey it, that the Lord will bless you. And you know, God wants to bless you, bless you spiritually. Bless your mind so that you can think like him. Bless your family so that your family can prosper. Bless the work of your hands. And also bless you so that you may be productive. So I want to read these scriptures in Deuteronomy that will command God's blessing upon your life. And this is what Moses said. And this is now what I said to you. Regardless of the challenges you're going through, I want you to know that there's a voice of blessing that is coming your way. And so I read these verses again in Deuteronomy 28, and I read from verse 2. The Bible says, and all these blessings shall come upon you and overtake you. May God's blessings overtake you in the name of Jesus Christ. Blessed shall you be in the city, and blessed shall you be in the countryside. God wants to bless you everywhere you go, whether you are in the city, whether you're in the countryside, whether you are here locally or whether you are out there internationally, may the blessings of the Lord follow you. Verse 4 says, Blessed shall be the fruit of your body, the produce of your ground, and the increase of your herds, and the increase of your cattle, and the offspring of your flocks. And I want to decree this blessing upon you that God will increase you. God will increase you. He will increase the work of your hands. God will bless you abundantly. In verse 5 it says, Blessed shall be your basket, and you are needing bowl. Blessed shall you be when you come in. And blessed shall you be when you go out. Imagine. God wants to bless you in your movements. God wants to bless you in your localities. God wants to bless you when you come in. God wants to bless you when you are going out. So I am decreeing this to you now. I am saying God will bless you. And may God bless you when you come in. May God bless you when you go out. Verse 7 says the Lord will cause your enemies who rise against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you one way and flee before you seven ways. May those things that oppress you, may those things that attack you, may those enemies that limit you in the name of Jesus, through this blessing, may they scatter. Through this blessing, may they be defeated. Through this blessing, may you emerge victorious in the name of Jesus. Verse 8 says, The Lord will command the blessing on you and in your storehouses and in all that to which you set your hand, and he will bless you in the land which the Lord your God is giving you. I want you to know that the Lord will bless you. Indeed, verse 9 says, The Lord will establish you as a holy people to himself, just as he has sworn to you, if you keep the commandments of the Lord your God and walk in his ways. And God indeed will lift you up. The Lord will cause you to be the head. The Lord will cause you not to be the tail. The Lord will cause you to be above only and not below. This is the blessing, the blessed voice of God's word. So grab onto this blessing as this pastor releases this blessing for you. That even as you finish this month, that as you go into the next month, even into this week, that you are going out so blessed beyond your imagination. So arise and shine. For your light has come, and the glory of the Lord has risen upon you. You are blessed to be a blessing. You are lifted to lift others up. You are favored to be favorable. In the name of the Father, and in the name of the Son, and in the name of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name, amen.